We had the great privilege of attending the Richmond, Virginia Pipe Show last week and taking a tour of the Sutliff Tobacco Factory. Sutliff was awesome. They uh, gave out samples. They let us test some new product. They set up blending stations where we had the ability to blend our own tobacco tins and they provided lunch for us. It was a great experience. We also got a tour of the factory. What you're seeing here are bales of tobacco as it comes to them. Now these bales have been compressed so much that all of the moisture is completely removed. And so the tobacco there is so dry it couldn't even be smoked. And so one of the first processes for Sutliff is to take this tobacco in this form and start rehydrating it. They do that in this large conditioning tank. They hit it with steam and then they move the, the tobacco to these barrels. There's pipes that go into the barrel where for 24 hours it's going to be hit with steam. It'll be then turned over and hit again for another 24 hours. That process um, makes the sugars in the tobacco um, change the flavor of the tobacco that you will get. These are mixing chambers, which are also breaking out and steaming the tobacco. And all this process is really just rehydrating and loosening the, uh, the tobacco so that it can be compressed and then cut. At this point, it's still in really long leaves, which you'll see here in a second. It's moving via conveyor into a cutter where um, two conveyors will compress it down and the cutting blade will, will, will cut it into shape. Uh, the speed at which they have it set to cut will determine the style or cut of tobacco. Now, it's set to cutters, but you, you can really see that process. At this stage, what's happening is more moisture is being added or moisture is being taken away to get the flavor profile of the tobacco just right. They're also filtering out layers of tobacco into different cut thicknesses. That way it can be used in different blends. This loose tobacco that's cut is going to be combined for their blend and then compressed. This gives them nine pound bricks. Uh, this compressor has 20 tons of force to do this over the course of a day. And that brick there is cut for crumble cake. This is where the topping is going to be added. It's a similar process. They're getting some aeration. They're, they're getting it well blended. And then even though the chemicals are not caustic um, or flammable, they must be kept in these uh, flame retardant containers. This is just the general manufacturing. This is where packaging is taking place. It was interesting to see stickers and packages for non Sutliff brands that they actually do the blending and packaging for. They do a lot of logistics business there as well. This is a refrigerator and this is kind of the storage area or one of them. Uh, they refrigerate the tobacco to keep the tobacco bugs at bay. This cutter is 150 years old and was built in Dayton, Ohio, so it's fascinating to us. Uh, it sits in Sutliff's lobby. The next day we attended the pipe show. It was great. Um, Homer's tobacco was actually chosen at random as one of five that was blended from a recipe from the day before, and people got to vote on their favorite. I don't know if his won or not, so it was a great time.